Hi, hello, and happy Wednesday. I am Sally, and I am coming to you today to talk about prayer. I love prayer, so I could probably go on forever, but I don't have forever, and your time is more valuable than that. So, I pray I think it is one of the most intimate ways that you can be close with God. I think that there is just something so special about this gift that he has given everyone to be able to come to him, to be in conversation with him, to praise him, to... Pray for others to come to him in confession. It just blows me away to think that there is something we can do to bring joy to our creator's heart. And that just makes me want to smile. So I love to pray and praise. Like I said, I, I love to pray for others. Um, but one of the types of prayer that God has brought to me and gifted me, which has just brought so much more wisdom, uh, has strengthened my faith, and has really let Christ in me come forward. It's been instrumental in strengthening this relationship with God and allowing me to walk in closer step with this spirit. And that is prayer warfare. Now, what I want to talk a little bit about is how to kind of implement that in your day. And I hope after watching this, you are just encouraged uh, that you find peace and freedom and power in the authority that God has given us all over the enemy. Now, for me, what that looks like is starting my day, being vigilant, being aware, and being able to identify how the enemy takes effect in my day. I believe it starts with a whisper, but one thing that is just so wonderful about our Almighty Father is His voice is thunderous. There is a tone, volume, integrity to that voice that is unmatched and that is just so uplifting for me. And so I want you all to feel empowered knowing that God has covered us all in his armor so that yes, we can spread the gospel and we can be good to each other and, and we can love him, but so that we can be steadfast in that authority that he has given us. And so when I start my prayer, I come against the devil I come against him in the air. I come against him on the ground and everything in between. As scripture says, he is beneath our feet. God has given us the power to trample over him. I specifically try to be aware of ways that I think the devil will try to manipulate me in my reactions and my emotions. And being a stay-at-home mom full-time, a lot of those emotions are impatience and the need to be in control, irritability, uh, fear. And um, I think if I thought long and hard enough, that list definitely is longer. But 
I feel like you, you know, I'm, I'm giving a good example there. And so that's exactly what I say. I come against you, Satan, in the name of Jesus Christ. I cancel your deployment. I cancel your mission. I cancel your assignments that you have set forth against me today. I bind up you and your dominion and your ability to bring fear, anxiety, irritability, impatience, recklessness, reactivity. And I just keep going with the words that God places on my heart. And I think that's probably different for everybody, depending upon the day and the moment and whatever the situation is in your life that you're going through or struggling with at that time. Uh, one of my favorite verses, I, I have a long list of those, but is in Matthew where Jesus is actually counseling his disciples. Uh, I believe that's chapter 18. And he's talking about how they can come against sin. And he talks about whatever you bind here on earth will be bound in heaven. Whatever you loose here on earth will be loosed in heaven. And for me, how I interpret that is he is saying, you have God's given authority. His kingdom come, his will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Allowing you to resist rebuke and restrain those emotions and those negative thoughts that can get out of control at times at least they do for me I'm human uh, and then to loose to release to give that away and and we can do that we can do that we can take those thoughts captive we can we have a chance with God on our side and his authority and his power and his grace and his love. And once you've bound, ask him to loose the counter virtues of those feelings that you have that are taking you captive. Lord, loose trust, loose peace upon me, loose freedom, loose forgiveness, loose love, your love, Lord, because that's what walking in his spirit is. It's walking in step with him, allowing the fruit to come into full bloom and ripeness within our own spirits, to allow that spirit to testify to ours. And it's just, there's a lightness to it and a love and again, I use this word, but a power to realize we're not alone and we can do this. And so I just hope with that, that you can take away, like I said, some peace and freedom in knowing that you can take charge, that you can take those thoughts captive that you can loose God's virtues, loose his angels to minister and aid on your behalf when you can't do it by yourself. I do, and it has made all the difference in how much I love and what I am capable of. And so I just wanna close us in prayer Lord, I come to you and I give you praise. I give you thanks. I, I love you and glory be your name and what you have given your people, your nation, your children, Lord, that we can have confident hope in knowing your power through us and knowing that we have kingdom authority here on earth that we can come against the enemy, that we can pray for ourselves, for others, for your nation. There is no prayer that's too big. That's where miracles come from. And Lord, I just pray for our voices. I pray that you strengthen them. I pray that you 
give us the ability to take stand in your name. You are the victory. I pray that you allow us to let out those battle cries with your mighty thunderous voice behind them. And I just pray blessings over everyone and your love in Jesus name. Amen. Thank you.